Okay guys, next up on the list, we're gonna install a electric fan conversion. It's actually extremely easy in this car. It's, it's literally a simple straight swap. So we're basically gonna get rid of this mechanical fan here and the fan clutch. And then we're gonna get rid of this uh, front fan here. So for that, we're gonna have to take the bumper off. And then we're gonna install just one electric fan. This is a plug and play uh, thing. We're going to unplug that plug right there for the front fan. Remove that. Okay, on this nice, fun, sunny day, we have removed the clutch fan and the front fan. And basically, as you guys can see, the front fan has the same exact plug as this one main fan we're going to run. This is going to slide right behind the radiator here into these grooves. We're going to plug that right up. We actually freed up a lot of weight off of the engine because that water pump was always spinning and it had an extra weight from that uh, fan clutch. Now it's gonna be revving a lot more freer. And I feel like there's gonna be way more airflow now since we removed that front fan that sits right over there. It's just uh, two push pins holding it here, two push pins holding it there. To remove this, it's four 13 millimeter bolts that are holding that and just a regular plug to get the fan clutch out you guys are going to need a special tool to hold the two fan bolts and the kit that this came with the actual wrench itself wasn't the correct size so i found online get this at AutoZone. one and one fourth will remove the fan clutch bolt cool let's slide this new fan in connect it up start buttoning up the front end and we're gonna have a nice car to drive. Hopefully it doesn't sound like a school bus again. It's also never a bad idea to clean some of these pieces right before you put them in. I used some quick detailer spray here. I'm just, you know, it's gonna go together a lot nicer and it's gonna, the hard to reach areas to clean later, we're gonna clean up nice now. Okay guys, so this is the before, the clutch fan, front fan, this is after the electric conversion. Everything looks OEM. I love it. You use the same exact connections from the front fan onto this fan. It cl everything slides, clips in. You put a bolt in here. It's honestly the number one thing I'd recommend you do to one of these because these pretty much always sound like a school bus because uh, the controller, I believe, on these fail in the back of this and then it stops working incorrectly. Plus here you get more airflow and you have uh, you don't have to worry about that clutch fan exploding. That uh, will leave a good dent on the top of your hood there. Here, everything is free from the engine. It's Nothing's attached to the engine anymore. So you're gonna have a, a, a more freer spinning engine and you're gonna have better airflow and better cooling. You cannot go wrong with this modification. Pretty much every Beamer after 2006, I believe, started using this type of fan. So this is a 2004, it didn't get the new style fan, but we retrofitted that bitch. Looks good. Sounds good too. I'm gonna take this for a spin very shortly. Very smooth inline six motor, producing a very raspy, beautiful exhaust note. 